This is where dreams are born Million miles away But it still feels like home In the land of heroes But, okay, let's talk about sets. No, what hold on, I'm not uh, done. Why, you, didn't, you cut me off I'm before, not remember? Done. And I stood over there and I listened to you and I was like, it's a ton of bullshit too oh, sure. but we're gonna address this right yeah. you are passing judgment on people who lack the tools to do what it is that they need to do to get themselves to a certain point of health lack there are the tools? multitudes of factors that weighs into what goes on with somebody's body there are people that even if they work out losing the weight does not come as simple as just going to the gym cutting calories watching everything that you eat there are some people that have a disposition. I have a disposition. But does that mean that I'm not active? Does that mean that I'm not doing certain things? No, it doesn't. But you're passing judgment on somebody's body that you know nothing about. Now, on the flip side, what if I turned around and I did the same thing to you? You're talking about how fit and stuff that you are, but you're over there and you're smallest compared to these other guys. So oh, how does that feel if someone yeah, comes? Yeah. No, because you said you said shame, right? You said shame, right? So that's... how does that feel if someone comes up and they start shaming you for size? Like, come on, it goes both ways. All right, now before I get into the video, I don't need people going down my throat about why do you care about other people's bodies. It's literally a panel to talk about a certain specific topic. If you don't grasp that, we don't even need to be talking, buddy, because clearly you don't know what's going on. Um, so let me just say this. Myron did bump his gums about, oh, bring back shaming, uh, make people feel bad, bring back bullying. I don't think you should say stuff like that. And then when somebody gives you a taste of your own medicine, I will say this, though. Myron is one of those people who can definitely take it and dish it out. I've always seen him uh, like say certain things to people. But when people say stuff back to him, he just laughs or he don't even care. Um, so me personally... Um, there's no like hate towards Myron or nothing like that because it's a, his opinion if he doesn't like overweight people That's his opinion. I can't help that But the thing that bothered me about this video was that guy saying a lot of people don't have resources and tools What are you talking about? You don't need a gym membership to lose weight You don't need a million dollars to lose weight eat less work out more You can run around the block of your house and that is free you can do push-ups, which are free. You can do jumping squats. You can do jumping jacks. You can run in place. You can even go on YouTube right now and type in Insanity Workouts and look up Insanity Workouts. I, I The one thing I get bothered at is that the people make so many excuses for themselves nowadays. Oh, I can't do this because of this. I can't just say you don't want to work out. My biggest thing with people is just being accountable and honest. Stop lying and dancing around the fact that you're just lazy. I'm not blaming everybody for being lazy, y'all, because it's not my place to do that. It's just an opinion. But I personally believe that every man and every woman should at least work out for 30 minutes to an hour a day, whether that's uh, doing you know, calisthenics, whether that's running, whether that's powerlifting, do something. A lot of you guys don't understand that it's not just about the body, it's about the mind. And a lot of people have a lot of built up aggression. A lot of people have a lot of irritability. A lot of people have a lot of moodiness. And a lot of you guys do not know how to work through that, which helps out in the gym. And everybody who's a gym knower, a goer knows this. I don't understand why we don't encourage people to live healthier lifestyles. Instead of encourage people to be bigger and then do that body positivity stuff. To me, body positivity isn't for somebody who's overweight. Body positivity is for somebody who's a burn victim, somebody who's a veteran, somebody who lost their leg. Somebody, that's body positivity. Somebody who was big, 600 pounds, and then lost all that weight. I'm not saying you shouldn't love yourself. Don't misconstrue what I'm saying. I'm not saying you're not worthy. I would, I'm not as harsh as Myron where he says... I can't even look at a big person. They disgust me. You need to earn my respect. I don't talk like that. So don't categorize or generalize us both because I'm not saying that. I just personally feel like people should live a healthy lifestyle. And here's my thing. I don't care if you're big, skinny, small, whatever. If you're complaining about your body 24-7 around me, I'm going to tell you to go to the gym. It has nothing to do with you being overweight. I don't like hearing complaining. I, I'm very big on that. If you're going to complain about something, do something about it. Like for me, I had no butt whatsoever and I was super skinny. That's all I complained about. Until I actually put in the work, put in the effort to get that. So you do the same. So um, 
I don't understand these type of topics because people act as if everybody has a thyroid issue. Everybody acts as if everybody um, has the same disposition like this guy's saying. If you look up the thyroid issues in America, it's not as high as you think it is. So stop acting as if everybody in this world is living with thyroid, thyroid issues or with issues that are stopping them from working out. Can I be honest? If you already had health issues and you kept eating to the point where you were so big you couldn't work out, whose fault is that? Nobody puts food to your mouth. Nobody forces you to eat. And then a lot of people say, well, we weren't taught this. We weren't taught that. I was never taught to eat a lot. I'm not being rude, you guys, but I was never taught. I don't understand that. I was taught to eat in moderation. If anything, I, I don't even want to say things about my past, but hey, you guys do what you got to do with this information. I'm just shedding light on what I think in my perspective. I respect both of their opinions. They're both valid, but I just think people making excuses for not working out in today's society, it's insane. And there's so many workout videos. There's so many influencers, whether they're um, from the gym goers to the people that are competing to people that even look like you. There's so many different body shapes that you can follow. And just the fact that there's some people out there actively trying to work out and um, take care of their bodies means a lot than people who don't, to me. I'm not making fun of anybody. I'm not shaming anybody, but this is going to get taken however it's going to get taken. I personally feel like people should get on the bandwagon of taking care of their physique and taking care of their body. So I, but I still feel